An American guy living in Sweden, uh, the chief automation officer at Northvolt, Landon Mossberg. Welcome on stage. Good having you here. It's good to be here. Isn't it? Yeah, it's my first time. It's my 18. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. What, what do you think about the uh, Siemens booth on this yeah, thing? Uh, this is more of a hall, I think, than a booth. It's a hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's a probably the place to be when yeah. it comes to digitalization. Yeah. Uh, I would like to start asking you about your background because sure. to me it's kind of strange. You see, I'm from the north of Sweden. Sweden is a long country, mm. and that you're planning to build a plant in the forests where I ran around when I did my military service in Sweden. Yeah. Mosquitoes, mm. fairly cold. Mm. And yeah, so tell us the story. You're How about selling Sweden there? really hard? We we were recruiting here, you know. You said Sweden's amazing. Sweden's it's amazing. Really it is yeah. amazing. Yeah, it Surely is, yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. So background: I um, I've been with Norfolk for about uh, a year and a half. Before that, uh, four and a half years with Tesla. Uh, and I uh, uh, before that, actually, I was doing uh, consulting for Accenture, focused on called it M2M back then. Uh, now it's called IoT. Uh, and um, in that role, I was more working with telcos, so very early adopters, and how uh, M2M connected devices can make service much better, much easier. Connected service is different, uh, which everyone knows now. But back then, it was sort of a new idea. There wasn't a lot understood about it. Uh, and then I went to Tesla, set up the connected car uh, services all over the world, uh, connected battery, then moved into autopilot a little bit, and, and then had my last role in automation. Yeah. What is it like to work at Tesla? You have sort of curiosity. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you've read the news, it's, uh, but I loved it. I mean, it, yeah. I think you have to be passionate, and that's because that's, um, it's, it's a slog, it's, it's hours and, and really tough work, but it's super interesting. Every day is very, very interesting, and you know you're working for something that's bigger. Okay. And I think Northvolt has that too. And that's one, one reason we're able to attract uh, already, even though we're fairly small, we're only two years old, we attract world-class people. And that's why I came in a, a big yeah. part. Uh, we'd already had a world-class team even two years ago when it was 20, now we're 250. So it's, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the mission is such a big part about making uh, these companies yeah. special. I think we heard Peter say that um, you have a lot of people coming to you. So it's just you can pick and choose more or less and welcome on board. Mm -hmm. Why do you think a company such as Northvolt mm -hmm. attracts so many, ta so much talent? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's, at least it's, it's very, very big part of it is, uh, is you're trying to address a problem that's really big. I mean, people, I was talking to someone uh, the other day, uh, and they were saying, you know, it's, uh, I'm working at a company right now, it's financial services, and great, financial services is very important, uh, it's fulfilling sometimes, but it's, it's not the same as trying to save the world from climate change, right? So they, that's why they wanted to come work for Northvolt. Yeah. And they were willing to take a, a pay cut to do that. Yeah. A lot of people are willing to do that, and I think it's, it's a huge thing when you're, um, it's not easy to do, you can't just say your mission is to address climate change or be sustainable. You, uh, to really have that benefit, you kind of have to bet the farm. And that's what Norfolk's right, right, right. done, that's what Tesla did. It's, it makes it different. So, so Landon, when someone asks you, like, Northvolt, mm. what's your thing? <laughs> what do you answer to that yeah. question? Oh, we're a battery company, uh, but uh, the, the demand for electrification and the demand for batteries, lithium-ion batteries, especially high-quality automotive-grade or, or grid-grade lithium-ion batteries is growing so fast that we're going to need to scale production uh, really for the next 10 years at a, at a really incredible pace. And to do that, not only does Northvolt need to be a battery manufacturer, but we need to be a, uh, we need to be a factory of battery factories. So we're really focused on uh, repeatability of the process of building new factories, scaling lines, running lines with less people. And that mm -hmm. goes to digital twin, to high process automation, uh, to remote monitoring and, and connectivity to the line. So there's a ton of focus on that. Uh, scalability pro plays a very important role. Sure. Uh, I also read on uh, Northvolt's webpage, this is for those of you interested, there's a lot of interesting information, and I like the look and feel of the webpage very, very much. That's Jesper. Uh, Jesper's in the crowd. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there it is. Job, Jesper. Yeah. <laughs> and um, there's a lot of, inf yeah, good job, Jesper. <laughs> And uh, there's a lot of inf in interesting information. You have people from so very many sides of things of, of the industry. Mm. And what, I, what I my eyes got stuck on was, I need to read here, um, the world need green batteries. What is the key to produce green batteries? Yeah, I, I mean, I think there's, 
you have any battery, any electric car is better than a combustion vehicle if you're buying a new car. Uh, probably, if you're, if you're uh, looking to do the most green thing you can, you should hold on to your car and not upgrade a ton. Maybe not everyone would want me to say that, but I think that's it, it, you know, the lowest carbon thing you can do. But cars are going to wear out, right? So you need to buy a new car at some point, and an electric car is going to be lower impact. So batteries by inherently are green. They're going to be greener than a carbon that today. Uh, yeah, but you can choose how green those batteries are going to be because uh, making batteries requires a tremendous amount of power. And if you're attached to a grid that's you know, fed by coal-fired plants, which a lot of battery production in Asia currently is, those batteries are not going to be nearly as green as they could be. So that's one reason we went to Sweden. Yeah. Uh, it's an abundance of, uh, of plentiful green energy from hydro. Not a lot of people there to use it, so we're using it. Uh, and it makes our batteries fundamentally greener. We also focus already on recycling, bringing as much of the capacity back and, and planning for that to be able to use that and not have to take more minerals out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing that we do is we really care about tracking our, our, uh, our footprint. Uh, and so we have a, uh, an ambition at a per cell level to track the, uh, the environmental impact of every cell, the carbon footprint and the environmental impact of that, of, it, uh, of that individual cell. So we use that as a way to improve our cells over time, and we're going to be uh, really yeah. focused on that. So, and, um, so looking at your title, Chief Automation Officer, in a, you're listening to Peter, and when he said you're going to go live in September or somewhere, yeah, yeah, in the next year with the first plant and then so on. <laughs> You got a lot of work in ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, it's, right. Uh, we're probably not taking a lot of vacation this summer, yeah. but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a big challenge. But we've we've got good partners like you guys. Thank you. Uh, and uh, uh, the team is uh, is uh, tremendous. They work super hard, and uh, we're growing fast. So I think we're up for it. And it's, but the next ten years is going to be this way. I don't think it's going to slow down. Yeah. yeah. But uh, also, we spoke before we got on stage, and uh, I get a feeling you're very open to new technologies, mm -hmm. digitalization. We spoke a bit of simulating flow through the factory and such things, and uh, also having automation in there. Mm -hmm. Who, how do you find people in Geleftio mm -hmm. doing this? Yeah. I mean, I think part, part of what we are focused on doing is making physical location, physical proximity less important in these mm -hmm. types of... So we should be able to remotely operate the factory in a large part from anywhere over the internet and do that in a highly secure way that's highly available. Uh, so connectivity is very important for that. Uh, really high levels of automation in the process are important. But then, uh, you know, you still need really great people. We're going to need a lot of really great people uh, in uh, around all of our factories and in Shaleftio especially. There's there's already a good ecosystem for this. We're going to stress that ecosystem a little bit. So we're looking at engaging with a municipality who has been great to build up the infrastructure to support even more uh, highly skilled work so, uh, workforce. So that's training. That's uh, bringing people in from the outside, and I think we're going to have to do a little bit of both. And being a agile and work fast. And That's right. Yeah. Correct, correct. Um, you also spoke when we walked around, we looked at our showcase in the center where we also have uh, uh, battery as one of the highlight yeah. topics. And it's beautiful, by the way. It's really yeah, is it nice? Yeah, yeah, nice? yeah, it did take some work to yeah, set up. Um, but you said also that the biggest fear for people within the battery, having battery-driven cars, yes. is that uh, they, they want to know when the battery runs out? Yeah, I would say the manufacturers really focus on that. Yeah. Right? So if, if you, as a manufacturer, are buying a product, uh, like a battery, and, and you're expecting it to live, you know, your car has to last for 10 years, 12 years, whatever, yeah. that's your standard. And you're not sure that the battery's going to make it that long. That's, that's super scary as a manufacturer. So. Uh, you know, there's a lot of focus right now on degradation prediction, understanding how that's going to work, uh, and working with our, our OEM partners and uh, upstream and downstream to, to get better at prediction. And Norfolk really wants to differentiate on that. And, and we work with you guys, I mean, you're a key partners and partner in this, to do something I think that's a little bit special for us. We, we are uh, earlier in the process probably than anyone else, uh, starting uh, with very deep serialized traceability. So we collect uh, manufacturing process quality data against every cell at a, at a quite large level. And then once that battery leaves for a large portion of them, especially grid-tied batteries, things we make the, the systems here, we connect those up. And we do that uh, with similar architecture that we do it in the factory. So it's secure, mm -hmm. highly available. And we bring that telemetry that we get off the batteries in the field with the manufacturing data and bring those things together. And then we can predict based on what we see and what, you know, what our models tell us, 
uh, how, how those batteries and similar batteries to them are going to perform in the field, how they're going to degrade. Mm -hmm. And we can take those, uh, those learnings and apply them to new series of product. So I think you know, in a very short amount of time, Norfolk's going to be the best at predicting battery degradation in the world. And that's a key differentiator for us uh, and, and for batteries in general. Yeah, I think it goals in the industry in general also. Um, we do a lot of that work also with our uh, uh, predictive maintenance. I mean, you want to have this um, ownership experience, yes. good ownership experience. And I think data analytics uh, is the key role yeah. for that, totally. for sure, for sure. Um, did you, I didn't hear, but did you say edge computing at some point in time? Yeah, or? so I mean, we are, <laughs> we're trying to be cloud first. I mean, that's how I've, uh, my background in uh, is more in software engineering than on the, the physical side. So I'm used to a cloud first uh, infrastructure and yeah. we're trying to not have much on-prem, if anything. It will just be edge, which means, uh, you know, uh, gateways attached to PLCs, industrial PCs, allowing secure bi-directional communication. We use that same technology to connect our lines that we use to connect industrial batteries out in the field. So grid-tied storage, these things need to connect too. And by using similar infrastructure, we can focus on making that as good uh, secure, available, reliable as possible. Right, 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 right. So, so if I summarize, I mean, the, the last, we've, we've been talking about for the last few minutes, you do have a challenge ahead of you making sure that your factories goes up and running as effectively as smoothly as possible, uh, producing using green power, mm -hmm. uh, which we have a lot of in Sweden. Yeah. It's um, water everywhere, so I mean, you're in a good place for that. Yeah. Those of you who haven't been in Geleftio, you should go there. In the summer, it's beautiful it along the beautiful. coast of Sweden. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be as nice as it is. It's no, super but nice. you mean you're from the east coast of the that's US. It's, yeah. it's yeah. almost the yeah, same. I'd say, yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 A little oh. colder, maybe. Yeah, no. yeah, could yeah, be, yeah. but I mean, <laughs> cold is good. Yeah, that's true. You probably need it also for the, for your plant. Yeah, it helps right. with dryness for sure. That's that's yeah, good yeah, for yeah. batteries. But you do live in Stockholm, though. So yeah, it's a little wetter in Stockholm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, we're kind of approaching the end, and uh, I have had the honor to have uh, three very prominent Swedish customers. You being one of them on stage, and uh, I always round it off mm -hmm. asking if you if anything you would recommend to the audience. does not have to be related to Northvolt or anything, but if there's anything you said, podcast, a movie, mm -mm -mm. a trip or anything? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think um, that's, I don't have, uh, I'm, I'm not as into uh, reading as I should be these days. I would say like a general principle that has been sort of key for me at, at Tesla and I, I'm seeing it play out even bigger at, at Northvolt is uh, as you embark on these uh, you know, types of projects, they're becoming so interconnected, the partnerships are super key. So working with guys like you, with other players, I mean, est establishing, identifying who you want to work with, establish the, establishing those partnerships early, that's, uh, that's a key and it will vastly accelerate your, uh, your path to success. To, to co collaborate and develop ideas further. Yeah, if you try to build everything yourself, yeah. there's too much stuff now. Yeah. No, I think we can learn from each other. I'm yeah. definitely sure, and that's also something I think was very evident yeah. uh, listening to those, uh, this prominent circle of CEOs sitting here, uh, uh, which was, I was blown away. I was hoping that they could sit and talk for the rest of the day, yeah, actually. Super interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Landon, um, I don't have any more questions. It has been a pure pleasure to have you on stage. Is there anything you want to say to the uh, people before we... Go. Oh, thanks for having me. It's been uh, really yeah, fun. And I hope yeah. to see you also around there. If there's anything you want to know, yeah. all of my colleagues are extremely stoked and they're loaded with information and would love to tell a story. Awesome. Because what you guys are doing, you're trying to change the world to the better. And I think that, that's something you should have I great kudos it. for. Thanks, Magnus. I appreciate yeah. it. Cool. Thank you Thank very much, Landon you. Mossberg thanks. from Northfold. Thank you very much, all of you. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.